Hello again everybody and welcome back. We're at Colombo, Sri Lanka today. Sadly, initially default MSFS scenery, but we're in an amazing Sri Lankan Airlines A320neo paint scheme uh, with a little bit of a test development branch for the Flyby-Wire A32NX. I've had a quite a hectic morning, so hello to all of you guys in the live chat. Um, I've spent the morning um, putting a video together with the, with the new PMDG DC6 which is coming tomorrow which is really exciting um, so I've got a little video that I've been working hard at and I've finished it around about 25 minutes ago so I was uh, I was cutting it pretty fine for today but I didn't expect the email from them at all so uh, it took me a little bit by surprise hope you're all okay having a good week so far almost a weekend uh, back to work for me tomorrow for a couple of days and uh, we've got some of the folks flying alongside as well today, as always, which is always nice to see. Indeed, yeah, we've got, uh, we've got ground and tower online. We've got an Osprey over there, which is looking pretty good in the channel colours. And we've got another Sri Lankan Airlines aircraft there. He's uh, waggling, uh, his <laughs> waggling his wind windscreen wipers at us there, saying hello to you guys. It's a short, sharp flight today of around about an hour to Chennai, and the flight plan is in the pin messages for you guys too. Once we get to Chennai, we're going to turn around and uh, head back to Colombo. So, a little journey zipping up the uh, cargo door still open, um, zipping up the coast of India, and then back down to Sri Lanka to finish off today's journey. Uh, double flight today. I think our cruise is going to change. I might be wrong. We've got some really nice freeware scenery as well at Chennai, which we're going to check out when we get there. And that's all available on flightsim.to. And there's our Metar for today. Winds 230 at 10 knots, all the nines, few clouds 1800, 30 degrees Celsius, so nice and hot. Steve, awesome. QNH 1009er. No significant changes. So we've printed that. We pop that in the middle there. And uh, we're all done actually, except for this. So let's quickly plan that. 3.8, we've got 5.7. Hopefully, you guys can hear ATC. Uh, we've got a couple of folks that are quite loud and then uh, struggling to hear ATC somewhat. Let's have a look at Navagraph while uh, the other guys are getting their clearance. There you go. We're at stand Bravo 1-4 at the moment. We've got an aircraft on Alpha 7 and Alpha 9. Short taxi. Down uh, Echo, I think that is. Or Alpha. And then SIDS. We're expecting the Ateta 1 Delta, which is that one there. So, after departure, turning right over the water, continuing a right turn back on ourselves to fly a bit of a downwind leg up to Sumox and then heading north 004 degrees, climbing up all the way um, at or above flight level 130 by Bravo India 645, at or above 5000 at the end of that downwind leg at Bravo India 622. There we go. Short route. You can see there, straight up the west coast of Sri Lanka, crossing the water and then passing the east coast, southeast coast of India into Chennai. Once we hit Tapas, we'll be entering the star and descending. So it's all going to happen very quickly. When we get there, we're then going to turn around and head back. And it's going to be quite a scenic journey today, I think. Alberto, hello to you. Good morning to yourself. Uh, William, hello. Matthew T, hello. And David A, uh, you guys, channel members, well, bronze, silver, and gold frequent flyers. Welcome to all of you guys and everybody else tuning in and watching along as well. If you enjoyed today's stream, do click like. line pilot uh, and that says off on the so I'm not sure which one you mean we come off external power 
feel lost in here, it's been so long. Uh, rightio. Let's get our clearance. We've got information alpha. Ape and Bravo closed for maintenance. Boarding bridge at parking. Stand alpha 8 unserviceable. A couple of other stands closed as well. I didn't know that. Club of ground to soft spray 414. Ready for push and start. Let's get our push. Uh, get our clearance. It's me flying. Uh, uh, I'd imagine he's on the dev version, hopefully. <laughs> Alberto, no problem at all. Hopefully, you're enjoying your prize. Club of ground, hello. Sri Lankan 122 at stand Bravo 14, A320 Neo with information Alpha. Request IFR clearance to Chennai. Barely hear him, so hopefully. So one can fast six one requesting push and start. Hopefully you guys can hear him. Q and H has changed quite a bit. All of a sudden. Striker 1 to 2, yes, uh, go ahead. Why well, firm? Clear to uh, Chennai, Atenta 1 Delta departure, flight level 310, squawk 7302, Sri Lankan 122. Jolly good. Clear that. 7302. Set. That's all looking good. Cockpit doors locked. David, uh, do we know what time the PMDG DC6 is being released? Because uh, I want to have a, a video ready for when it drops. I've, uh, after the stream today, I'll be uploading it, so, um, yeah, I've got a really busy day ahead. Beacon on. Clear left. And we're clear right. We're off ground equipment. We're on the APU, that's on bleed. Sri Lankan 122, request push and stop. Four meter, hello. Push start approved, report ready for taxi, QNH 1009, uh, Sri Lanka 122. Sri Lanka 122, confirm you stand Bravo 1-2. Hey, either Bravo 1-4 or Bravo 1-2, it's very difficult to tell, sadly. Ground markings. All wiggle wags. Tugs attached. Sri Lankan 561, are we now uh, clear to push? Uh, Apologies, negative. Uh, there's turning craft after that, please. You'll be clear. I'm pushing to start one day. Um, aircraft is clear. Ignition starts. Engine 2. Double ground, spray 414, ready for taxi. Uh, all meter? N no idea. Don't think so. Okay, um, sounds. <laughs> so good. Every time it gets you. How we're doing? It's probably should start. Bro, no, we already did.
can't remember my keybinds, it's been so long in this. Uh, Alberto, check um, check the tutorials. They're definitely there. If not, check on our Discord server in new videos. You should see the approach ILS and landing and stuff. There's the PTU on the outside. Mission 1 start. Bring that tug down. Love this toolbar pushback mod. Part break and pushback. Literally no reason to use FS2 crew pushback express any any uh, any more. Off goes the tug. Four meter. Absolutely no idea. Um, how about that? Sadly. Uh, I probably won't buy it when it comes out, no. It's, uh, taxi charts. Grid for push and start, so I'm going to 561, no problem. Ah, Jag Dishwa. So I've got it mixed up the other way around then by the sounds of it. Interestingly enough, when I googled it yesterday, it all suggested that this flight was um, Sri Lanka 122, but hey ho. We've committed to it now, sadly. Sri Lanka 122, request taxi. Contact Tower 118 Decimal 7th Taxi and uh, thanks for the ATC. Should like a 122, bye. Uh, Flight 917 Fly, you are clear. We should start after uh, 1187. Globo Tower, hello, Sri Lanka 122 on uh, Apron Bravo, request taxi. Duncan 122, Ibon, Columbia Tower. Um, taxi to holding point Alpha, runway 22, with Scott Mod Charlie, QNH 1009. Eh? Uh, behind the taxiing aircraft A320 on the parallel taxiway. Tower, Osprey 414. Taxi to hold point Alpha runway 22, uh, squawk mode Charlie, QNH 1009 uh, via Bravo and uh, the main taxiway after the aircraft in front, uh, Sri Lanka 122. Tower Osprey 414. That aeroplane is. Love this livery by the way. It's all the way over there. Osprey 414. Oxford 414, am I correct, sir? So, one plus F, we oh, can yes, click takeoff config. Spoilers on. Um, good afternoon, Columbia Tower. Continue texting to calling point as well, report ready to line up. Order break, Max. Roger. Continue taxi point Alpha. And I'll advise when ready. Alberto! Awesome! Thank you very much! Distracted me there, almost gone off the taxiway. Thanks for the videos, tutorials, and especially the giveaways. Really kind of you, Alberto. Uh, it says thanks for your videos, tutorials, and especially the giveaways. You're very welcome. Thanks for being a channel member. Oxford 414, you are clear to flight level 330. Your final flight level is 330. Initially climb to flight level 150, sir. I'd imagine you guys barely heard that over the ATC, so I thought I'd read it out. Thank you very much. Lauren, yeah, it's quite fantastic, isn't it? Oxford 414, correct. 
Then I'm probably going to do a report ready for departure. Even if I got my uh, call signs Alpha mixed up. Is at, uh, Alpha point Alpha, holding point Alpha. Yeah, Ooh, ready. You know what I've forgotten? Fox Bay 414, line up on a 22, report ready, ready for departure. Let's see if I can do this really quickly. Line I've still got it set for CRJ controls. Off Bay 414. Which is kind of important because uh, I won't have a reverse thrust if I don't change it. There we go. So now, there we go. Should I send one, two, two, Columbia double? Last message. Sri Lankan one, two, two, uh, what's your final altitude, sir? Final flight level? A flight level three, one, zero, Sri Lankan one, two, two. Sri Lankan one, two, two, copied. You are Reclear to uh, final flight level 310 and initial climb flight level 150. Reclear flight level 310 and uh, initial climb flight level 150, Sri Lanka 122. Tower Osprey 414, ready for departure. Osprey 414, after departure, monitor Unicom on 122 decimal late as no further ATC available, radar services terminated. Wind 240 degrees, 10 knots, runway 22, clear for takeoff. That's set. Here come the most no blue. After departure. Osprey 414. Osprey 414, have a safe flight. Bye bye. Thanks for the ATC services, sir. No problem. Sri Lankan 561, request taxi to the active. 20 degree angular bank, apparently. Sri Lankan 561, this first turn. Columbia Tower. Taxi to Holding Point Alpha, runway 22, behind the company Airbus A320, taxiing on the parallel taxiway, QNH1 009. Got to get a uh, little screenshot with the, uh, the best livery in the business in the background. Behind the lined up traffic. There it is. Lovely. Yeah, the call sign on BATSIM is ALK122, um, but of course the flight number is uh, is the two-letter code. That's ready. Oh, brilliant, that's turned itself on. Here we go, holding it alpha. He's up already. Skork 7301, thank you. So this first sector is going to be about an hour's flight time. Sri Lanka 122, holding at Alpha, ready for departure. And then we're going to turn Sri around Lanka and fly back. Two, two, uh, line up runway 22, two, report ready for departure. Line up number 22 and uh, report ready for departure. Sri Lanka 122. Oh, you know what? APU. I sign confirm uh, you are released by Columbia Ground. <laughs> I fly 9175, taxi to Holding Point Alpha, runway 22. Uh, behind the A320, Sri Lankan Airlines, taxiing on the parallel taxiway, QNH1009. QNH1009, Columbia Ground, Sri Lankan 9 You can always join us from Chennai, uh, uh, one big puppy boy, as we fly back to Colombo. Uh, the other is almost off now. Sri Lanka 122, ready for departure. Sri Lanka 122, decimal late, as per the now ATC available. Radar services terminated, wind 240 degrees, 10 knots, runway 22, clear for takeoff. After departure, uh, radar services terminated, uh, monitor Unicom 122, decimal late, and uh, clear for takeoff, Sri Lanka 122. Thanks for the ATC. Sri Lanka 122, have a safe flight, say bye bye. Thank you, bye.
Complex SRS. Sri Lankan 5 Sun, Almost 80 knots already. Ave Geek coming in clutch the most man FLX SRS I see the best Jessica oh, got on, bars, SoundCloud rapper best in the world. Sri Lankan 561 as you're flying. E2. Positive rate, go up. You must take a odd flight level, so would you like to take flight level 310 or flight level 330? Uh, we'll take 310. Flank 561. Sri Lankan 561, copy. You are re cleared to final flight level 310. Initiate climb and maintain flight level 1. So, let's do that. Four meter, we be fan. Thank you very much. Really kind of you. I've got coming in clutch. The most man flex SRS I see is the best. Yes, I know. I've got bars, sand, cloud, rapper, best in the world. <laughs> I can't rap. Clearly. So turning. Look at this. Stunning. Oh, there's some awesome sounds in this now, guys. Those of you just tuning in, very warm welcome to you all. Please do click subscribe if you haven't done so already. And give us a like as well. And keep your eye on the channel for tomorrow. Prior to today, I've had a really busy morning. S, I thought we were going to be there. I've had a really busy morning uh, flying the PMDG DC-6 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So really exciting. Nidjanta, hello. Uh, yeah, the title was Indigo Ops. Um, it was initially um, going to be a different route. Let's hold that speed there. It was initially going to be another route entirely, but uh, we had a couple of issues with Goa. Um, it doesn't have any scenery for it, so oops. we had to surrender the uh, we had to surrender the route a little bit. There we go. That's the view I was looking for. Look at that. Beautiful. So I've been working really hard on a, the first look and review video that I've been making for the PMDG DC-6 releasing tomorrow and uh, we'll be checking that out. I'll, sh I'll be sharing with you guys a video of around about 25 or so minutes um, with everything you need to know to have a successful first ever flight in that DC-6 that they're releasing. So really exciting day tomorrow for Microsoft Flight Simulator and fairly big milestone I'd say look at that let's get a little screen grab of that beautiful great livery as well on flightsim.to Adam hello Crystal Rose how are you doing if anyone wants to join us on VATSIM for this return sector folks we'll be turning around at Chennai and flying back to Colombo that we've just left Feel free to join us. Rahal from Sri Lanka, hello. Hope you're enjoying today's video then, stream. And I think we could probably accelerate now to our climb speeds certainly come off the chrono and we can continue our climb up to cruise 31,000 feet today looks awesome if uh, you guys haven't flown around here before And I really recommend it. It's quite cool. I think we're probably already over 10,000 feet. I may have overlooked that. Charlie Lamar, hello, hello. We're on the uh, butt end of the star now, and there we go, flight level 100. days 
Go for it. Like I say, it's a really quick sector this one, and then we'll be returning back to Colombo. So, plenty to see today during the stream. Yeah, Goa, um, somebody reliably told me that there's no runway lights or anything at Goa in MSFS, so... Uh, one of our gold frequent flyers requested Colombo as well, or Sri a Sri Lankan Airlines flight um, involving a bit of Sri Lanka as well. So I thought I'd blend the two together and we would do Colombo to Chennai. Oh, that's really nice. Lumber to Jaffna runs great. One in the turbo prop might be one for the DC6 even. Awesome. Um, what's the flight time for that then? That DC6 is hard to learn. I've got to tell you that. I've um, there's a really great feature in the electronic flight bladder, the, the tablet that PMDG have created, and I'll show you guys all of the stuff with that in a video tomorrow. Um, and it made my first flight very enjoyable and certainly manageable. We're going up to 31,000 feet today, Akila. You did see Thunder, yes. Um, Microsoft Flight Simulator's live weather's been a little bit bizarre lately, I've got to say. There's our, our current position. The little magenta arrow on the Ateta 1 Delta departure. And we're currently at 15,500 foot. You can see at this waypoint we're about to touch, we had to be at or above flight level 130. So we've ticked all of the boxes all the way here and we turned at 225 knots at BI611. So we've ticked all the boxes for this, uh, the initial climb out on the standard instrument departure. And then in a second we're going to be heading up straight up to a tether for that Tango 4 airway. And you can see the route looks like that. Straight up to Tapas, or Tapa if you're uh, Spanish. And uh, Tapas Trico arrival, like so. We can disable all of those because we just want runway 25. But actually, I might make it a bit interesting. ILS 25. What options do we have here? Don't want any of those really. If I show you the charts as we're climbing away. What I'm going to do is uh, try and fly this 14 DME arc all the way around. And it's not in the flight plan at all, so um, it's going to be a little interesting for us, but it's going to be quite nice. And then we're going to be flying the ILS approach to runway 25 into Chennai. We've got an ILS frequency and a VOR to tune there, so we've got a couple of things to do. Uh, more so, we're going to be flying that 14 DME arc at 4,000 foot to a radial of 133 degrees. And then we're going to be going to down to 2,300 foot and by ICHM 12 DME, which is 12 miles from the airport for that final approach with the ILS intercept. So a little bit of a VOR radial to fly and then an ILS approach today. A little, little interesting for you guys. And of course we've got Volanta fired up. Yes, uh, Lauren, that's certainly most of the issues with the sim. Whenever there's uh, missing airports and strange things, it tends to be because the airport's military. Uh, and like saying Goa is a military airfield. Rahal, uh, yeah, most people are waiting for the PMDG 737. The DC-6, uh, they put out a press release a little while ago and they basically said that the DC-6 is designed to be a bit of a test bed. Oh, interesting. 
a strange, uh, strange speed constraint there. And they found that with the DC-6, they've been able to pretty much do exactly what they wanted. Um, and they've said that Microsoft Flight Simulator has... Well, a simulator has never, ever been able to allow them to do exactly what they wanted before. Um, and they've come out a couple of days ago and said that they can't believe how fantastic the simulator actually is. Which is always really nice to hear. Uh, and having flown around in the DC-6 this morning. I've done a, basically a little circuit just to give it all a go with a, a bit of a start-up takeoff and a landing for you guys to see on the video tomorrow as I share my thoughts. It basically means that they, um, they can progress the 737 really nicely as well so it's going to allow us to have that added immersion and uh, the really complex systems that we'd get in that 737 with the quality that we know and expect from PMDG which is always good. What do I think of Rex Global Textures? I've not tried it but does anybody really need it? I don't think so. Um, I was saying to somebody on my Discord yesterday when you're on the runway you're looking at the end of the runway or the threshold. So if you're coming into land, you look at the threshold initially to judge your distance, and then just before you get to the threshold, you lift your vision up right to the end of the runway, and you use that for your depth perception and to judge your flare uh, and roll out and things like that. Your landing, and obviously when you're taking off, you're looking at the sense line, but you're looking right at the end of the runway, and then you'll glance back at the instruments to check your speed and things, and then that's it. So I'm not too phased about that, and I know the Rex. Um, Rex textures have been found to clash with a couple of payware airports so for me my priority would be making the payware airports look fantastic by not having an add-on like that uh, Elglams all I've got at the moment is the base pack I'm hoping tomorrow they release a load of liveries and things for it as well I really want somebody to make an Osprey channel livery for it as well like a real classic retro British Avgeek uh, Osprey livery for the DC-6, that would look quite stunning and I'd love a Scandinavian one as well let's uh, pop that to managed probably save the engines now so we that speed constraint 250 killed our speed a tad. I'd imagine it won't take very long for people to start modding and creating liveries for it. For the DC-6. I, I was quite overwhelmed. Um, as I'll explain in the video tomorrow, there is so much to do and learn and focus on and get your head around. Um, I mean, I thought the CRJ was uh, difficult to learn. <laughs> William, I tend not to like to ask. Um, I know. Frex, for example, that who painted our 787 and 747-8 liveries, he approached me and offered his offers his services really for a, you know his great livery texturing work. And all the other liveries were made by, except for the A320 Neo and uh, something else, the Cessna Caravan. All the other liveries were made by the community, which is really nice. Jonathan, hello. <laughs> El Glam's nice, good stuff. Well, welcome, welcome. Hope you're enjoying it live. Almost at cruise. Uh, 
and uh, we're just leaving. Sri Lanka behind. Dan, hello. There's the uh, tip of Sri Lanka. Can't work out if the aircraft sounds louder today. Not sure what that little island there is called, but we'll have the Indian coast coming up here somewhere in the distance. In fact, that might well be it here. Yes, there we go. So there's the coast of India. It just disappears off underneath that cloud up there. And for the most, we're flying in a straight line. Only 240 miles left to go, and we're at cruise altitude now. We should probably look at the uh, Trico on our arrivals for 25. Uh, Tapas. No altitude there, uh, but Trico, max 250 knots, and we have to be at or above flight level 9 or 0. That's our arrival route for today. Dan, he's been working at it, but he's also working on the third secret airport as well. So, um, Mako's obviously, Mako Simulations are obviously working really hard at getting that third airport ready for release. Um, and it's a big airport, so it's taking a bit of a, a bit of time. Birmingham has been worked on, but of course, uh, everybody's going back to work now, probably too. So. Taking a little bit of time. Oh wow, there was a time when you could walk to Sri Lanka from India. Good grief. That must have taken hours though. Hot temperature in Geneva. It's um, not as sunny as it was here the other day, but uh, over a couple of hours into the evening yesterday, clouds sort of formed over and front appeared and we had uh, quite a bit of rain so today is extremely humid. Uh, Gil, will there be ATC online at Chennai? Hope so. Um, I'm not sure. Marle centres online for those of you who might want to fly around the Maldives on VATSIM. David, jet engines are really simple things. Radial prop engines are a whole level harder. Indeed, yes. Thankfully, um, there are some settings in the EFB that you guys will see tomorrow for that uh, Douglas DC-6 by PMDG. And I'll go through um, all the tips that PMDG have told myself, actually, as well, just to, just to help you guys that might want to purchase it, enjoy it, and get used to it in stages. Kevin, good morning. Been lurking while having coffee and starting work. Glad to hear what you're saying, Reap PMDG. Don't know if I'm interested in the DT6, but if it paves the way for the 737... Yeah, exactly. Uh, it was one of their press releases a few weeks ago. They said it was a... It was kind of like the experiment for the 737. Um, and it's basically what they've been able to do with the DC6 has meant that they've been able to speed up the 737 and the 777 progress and it's pushed the release dates of those forward slightly. So that's why I think now we can expect the release around about maybe November, hopefully earlier for the PMDG 737. I was blown away by the DC-6, I've got to say, and I've, you guys that watch regularly will know that I don't, um, I've been out of the sim world for around about 15 years up until the point 
Microsoft Flight Simulator got released. So I've never actually owned a PMTG product. Make sure you hit like while you're here guys. If you're enjoying today's stream. And uh, if you've not said hello yet, come and say hello in the live chat. Aditya, hello. Uh, thanks for flying into India. You're very welcome. Vash was asking, what, the, what is the longest flight I've done in the sim? Um, around about six and a half hours, I think it was, from JFK to Heathrow in the Salty Sim 747. It's certainly not that sim ready, though. We got very lucky that day. Couple of guys flying along as well today. Carl, Dad did his national service in Ceylon. Loved it. He was in the Royal Air Force, based in Colombo, HC and Jungle Rescue. Wow. Uh, and he marched on screen for the movie Bridge on the River Kwai. That's incredible. Alpha, can I show the traffic in front of you? Um, a couple of <laughs> Philip Pello. He's a couple of miles ahead, so I don't think we're going to see him. He is quite far ahead. So, uh, yeah, we can't see him, sadly. I'm not sure if we can see the folks behind, either. ATC work to separate us, basically. We're all on the same route, so they're working for two to three minutes separation for each of us, really. Ah. Didn't know that that was its previous name. Learning a lot. I love the facts in the live chat from you guys. We had loads of facts yesterday as well from Lauren. One thing that I didn't see today on the Luke Air tool was uh, Sri Lankan Airlines announcements. Oh, we've got traffic there on the TCAS. We've got one behind as well. So how far are they? 20 miles. 20 miles in front, 20 miles behind there for separation on that, which is really good. Uh, what do I want? I would like a Metar. the request. Oh look at that, it's got an alternate in as well. Fantastic. We'll go for all three. This is the latest update of course. Philip, yeah we're doing the return buddy. So if you want to spawn in at um, Chennai. There's some really nice freeware scenery for Chennai as well I've got to say. So hopefully you guys watching if you've not got Microsoft Flight Simulator um, and you live local perhaps you can tell us how accurate it is. There's the Metar for Chennai from 44 minutes ago, so it's a little out of date perhaps. 200 degrees at 6 knots, visibility of 6 kilometers, scattered cloud 2,000 foot, few clouds 2,500, and towering cumulonimbus, broken clouds 10,000 feet, 35 degrees Celsius, dew point 24 degrees Celsius, and the QNH 1003. And we've printed that, so we can put that there in the centre pedestal. Ah, Steve, no worries. You've got to get, you've got to knock the rust off somewhere. You can see that weather building in actually here We're already. A couple of uh, cumulonimbus in the distance, and we could put. The weather radar on now. I've got used to never using it because of the. Um, it only ever used to display cloud, but now it shows precipitation, which is awesome. Uh, Dan, we're halfway there already, so we should be there in about 30 minutes, touching down. Carl, that's awesome. 
Uh, Lauren, yep, we should be passing Puducherry. Uh, we'll be passing directly over it, for that matter, actually. As we uh, as we head towards the waypoint of Trico. And we've got the Indian coast coming up. Nice and quick. Gonna have to work out our top of descent already soon, I think. The return is slightly longer than the way out. But we get to put the A32NX to the test. And what I shall do is quickly go into Discord and get the route that's in our live streams feed. So I can prepare Simbrief for the route home. <laughs> I just realised, uh, thanks guys for pointing it out as well. Um, I just realised that... Um, <laughs> The title of the video today had uh, Indigo Ops, but um, obviously that changed. So the description got updated, but I forgot uh, that that little line was in the title. So I've just fixed that. The route back is super simple. It's um, Chennai to Akmil, and then the Alpha 465 Airway to CA, and then to Colombo. So. I'll generate the route on Simbrief, but I might actually do it all manually and put it in myself to show you guys how to do that as a little refresher. Uh, ALK121. VOM to VCBI. Looks like Demad Akmil A465 to CA actually. Lots of runway, which is probably 25, isn't it? There we go, so it is what I first suggested it was. Jolly good. Let's generate the new flight plan for the return. Alpha. Um, at some point soon, that weather's come in really quick. At some point in the near future, I'd like to uh, do a little flight around Pakistan. John, uh, Jonathan, it's great, isn't it? I love um, that storm front passing in. You can tell it's a quick route because um, I'm configuring it for the way home now, but. I'm also thinking about top of descent, so I'm flicking through tabs relentlessly at the moment. Carl, oh, yeah, the uh, the sim is fantastic with scenery, isn't it? So Trico, actually Ganan, um, where are we? It's for a different runway. Flight level nine or zero for Trico. So if I use the EFB. Alpha. You're not Brooklyn, are you, by any chance? And Alberto, yes, I need to do Chile as well. Absolutely. It's 69 nautical miles, but actually I want 1,800 foot per minute roughly, so that's going to give us 93 nautical miles. Oh, 07 on the ATIS. Fantastic. Uh, that's going to give us a tailwind. Welcome, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Jaguar evening uh, in Australia. Nice. Good evening to you. Landing and departure runway 07. Brilliant. Um...
So landing with the tailwind it is. Generate OFP. So it's the same route as planned in the description but with Damad as a waypoint in front of that. For the return. Norbert, um, I'm using Navigraph charts and then I'm using this to sort of work it out myself. But if we're landing on 07, actually we need to change the arrival procedure because it's more of a straight in approach. And we're almost at Tapa, so um, flight plan, VOM. 07, there's the aeroplane shouting at us. And we're coming via Tapa, or Tapas. Wireless. Trico. And uh, Ganan. Ganan, Trico, Tapa. It's none of those. Approach. ILS 07. What have we got here? There's MIM. Chen IMA. MMV. KKP. Here is a little support for an excellent content creator. Keep it up with the excellent quality content. Jonathan, thank you very much. Hopefully you guys heard that. If not, uh, Jonathan, really generous for your tip there. He said, here's a little support for an excellent content creator. Keep it up with the excellent quality content. That's really kind. Thank you very much. We'll insert that as it is, I think without risking breaking stuff and we need to add in our destination data already what have we got here so information alpha expect RLS approach landing and departure runway 07 winds 200 at 7 200 at 6 sorry temperatures 35 here anyway isn't it QNH1003 I was uh, Lauren it's Nespresso inside that coffee cup <laughs> oh William good stuff David yeah if, um, the 80 suggests runway 07 and we've got tower online so that's probably what we're going to get um, the transition on the ATIS is 4-5. Uh, yeah, hot. Um, what else have we got here? So, approach minimums, 284 on the Barrow. With glide slope. It's kind of difficult to see what the aeroplane's going to want us to do because I think the there's our top descent marker, a tapper. Um, that's not correct. I have all the times for this to bug out. Click that. Interesting. Where's my charts? We're going to have to use charts. Um, that should be 024. fixed it. That's really strange. We're not at Tapa yet, are we? No. So we found a bug.
Uh, Nijanta, hopefully, uh, well, we, I wish I was flying that, but sadly I'm, I can't. Strange. Very much here indeed, um, and that's even with Navigraph nav data. I did Delhi though, and that was fine a little while ago. Kevin, indeed, and it makes the CRJ um, seem like an absolute pleasure to fly because it just works so nicely every time. Vomitus. We've got Vom Approach and Vom Tower. So one two seven nine hundred. And then we've got VCBI. No, uh, Vom Tower one one eight one coming up. It's easy to tune. There we go. 127900. We can't do much else. We've got the performance page configured with all the data it needs. Yeah, I'm getting a bit tired of the lack of flight plan manager, I've got to say. Um, when it all starts to go a bit wrong, it gets rather frustrating, doesn't it? Sixty, that wanted ninety-three. Love how I give myself a bit of a target here. There we go. Uh, Dan. Ooh. You're asking now. Uh, let me find it. Let me find it. What is that? It's on flight some flights of Kuala Namu International Airport. WIMM. Wow, well, that looks incredible. New scenery. On flight sim.to. Uh, anyway, Chennai. It's going to be in the live chat, uh, so monitor that. It's got the new terminal and the old terminal, by the looks of it. Although, yeah, I'm no uh, no pro at this. Oh, Van Raj, new Atis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please don't change the runway. Channel information, Echo. ILS 25 approach. Are you joking? For goodness sake. <laughs> oh dear. Right, we want to go in via Tapa. That's why I put it onto heading mode because the flight plan manager is whacking this. So angry, it just angers you trying to use it. It works so nicely in the CRJ. We'll go in via MMV. Insert. Oh, stupid plane. Now it's wiped Trico out. I'd rather have had the tailwind, I think. Trico. MMV. Tapa. ILS. It's going to get there in the end. If not, we'll just give up and fly for the charts. MMV. I'll give up fly by the charts. Stupid aeroplane. Rad now, if this is why I like the CRJ so much, guys. 
Um, so we want to be flying a track of 024. Let's do that. And uh, 1097. I need to change my charts again. ILS frequency 1097. We want a course of 251. I'm going to pop that into here because we also want to tune the Chennai VOR 112 decimal 5. Job done. There's no ADFs and DBs or anything to tune. VOR. As for vectors, uh, yeah, I might need to. We might get vectors anyway. Um, I've got my charts ready, so if need be, I'll have to fly it manually myself. Um, he says, Trico. There we go. I think we should call up 1279. 1279. Ashish Daniel is uh, helping on here today, so Chennai approach. Chennai approach, hello, uh, Sri Lanka 122, Airbus A320 with information echo, inbound uh, Trico, the RNAV uh, Tapas. Sending through flight level 210 for flight level 110. Sri Lanka 122, Chennai approach, very good evening. Radar identified, uh, stand by. Nick, good morning. Sri Lanka, Monty, to uh, expect ILS approach from me to five vectors after Trico. Expect ILS runway two five and vectors after Trico, Sri Lanka, one two two. ATC in to save the day. We're not doing too badly though. I'm manually flying it along the magenta. Um, the magenta arrow there shows us where we are. I'm, I'm manually flying it along that dash line, which should be what the aeroplane gives us. But it's not. And then we're going to get some vectors, which would be quite nice. Give us a like while you're here, guys, and stay long enough to watch me configure for the return journey at least, um, so you can see how to do it manually. It's starting to bust through towards the cloud now. <laughs> Philip, yeah, I could do, couldn't I? Better put the seatbelt sign on. Should bust through here. Two, two, stop descent, flight level 140. Stop descent, flight level 140, Sri Lankan 122. Weather radar is on. Hey ho. Into the clouds. Carl, thank you very much. Really kind. Should get some wing flex now as we pop through here. Cumulus is uh, towering cumulus. Cumulonimbus are usually quite turbulent to fly through. Get okay, what well, you could be flying in the A300 freighter. Nice. Could do it. Somebody should dare to do it in the DC6. That'd be fantastic. Might take a while though. Max 250 knots at Trico. We'll have to start slowing the aeroplane down somewhat soon. Oh, that looks fantastic. Let's see if I can get a pop across the aeroplane and see if we can get this. That little gap in the weather there. If that breaks, that'll be a beautiful screenshot. Lit up down below. Approach 
Three. Looks like we're level at four, 14,000 now. One, three, four, one, four, go ahead. I just got a message to contact. Oh, my bad, that was actually, I uh, meant for the wrong air, uh, for the, for the aircraft, my bad. Do 56. Strike to 561, descending through flight level 210. Strike in 561, uh, turn up Wow, look at that. And uh, what level I'm going to. We're aiming for 140. That's fantastic. Roger, Roger, you can descend flight level 120, identified. Less than 60 miles. We'll have auto brake low. Look at that pocket of cloud. That is incredible. Get rid of the EFB, we don't want that. Wow. <laughs> it's so good. Explain, eat your heart out. And look at the depth in the cloud. So three dimensional. Look at that. It'd be great to buzz through that tunnel of cloud as well in a small aeroplane, like a TBM. Blast around the pockets of cloud. We're almost at Trico. We should be slowed to 250 knots now as well, which would be good. We're just shy of that because it's max 250. I think I set 246. There's a bit of wing flex. And those volumetric lights as well, bouncing off the surface of the cloud. And here comes that turbulence I expected. Osprey 414 after Trico fly heading uh, Osprey 414 heading after Trico That's fab Osprey 414 heading 050 after Trico Looks stormy though No precipitation in the cloud though according to the uh, weather radar Sri Lankan uh, 122 fly heading 050 after Trico Fly heading 050 after Trico, Sri Lankan 122 Watch through the cloud again, Doosh. Yanto, um, you can set them manually. I've done a, um, a tutorial on the channel that shows you how to set those yourself. If you want to give it yourself, uh, give it a go. But also, uh, I've uploaded all of my custom files onto uh, flightsim.to so if you search on flightsim.to British Avgeek custom view you will be able to see um, a file download that put all the relevant ones into uh, the relevant folders make sure your keybinds are exactly the same as I've set look at that tunnel through the cloud there and then you should be good to go I think we're at Trico now, although, yes we are, uh, 050, it was a heading, we go back onto heading mode, we're being vectored out over the coast now, Don't forget, we're going to be turning around at Chennai and heading back to Colombo. Oh, that's runway 25. We're pretty much good with that briefing. We're going to be vectored round to the intercept. We should expect the intercept at 1,800 feet. 
Missed approach, climb straight ahead to 2,300, then climbing turn right to join the VOR holding at 3,000. So that's holding above the airfield. Or as directed. Carl, nice. Star 561, flight level 60. Flight level 60, Roger. Flanking 561, descend flight level 80. Down trade 0, Star 561. Got somebody nice and close there. Perhaps we can see them. On the left hand side, yes, there's the lights. Whoever that is. That looks brilliant. Look at the sky above. Descend flight level 80. Descend flight level 80, Sri Lanka 122. Down we go. I'm going to set that now as we descend. So when we get our next descent, we can just flick it across. Got a tunnel through there. It's a shame we can't see down below. Really dark clouds. Flanking one two two reduce speed uh, two two zero knots, please. Reduce speed two zero zero knots, Sri Lanka one two two. Let's kill our rate of descent first. She's a bit slippy, so use a bit of speed brake. That's going to help us get there. There's one of the guys being vectored around as well. Well, sign on one seven five. Expect vectors for the arrival of ILS from the two five. Love these speed brake deflections. Absolutely fantastic. Can't see much going on down below. Anyway, flight deck. Back to 1800 foot per minute. There's the stop. There's the stop. A firm heading 050, Sri Lanka 122. Thank you. Ten thousand. We've got those on already. That's what I want to do. I keep forgetting which ones are flick switches and which ones aren't. There's the green dot. Let's put a bit of flaps in.
just slipping away, so we're going to be riding the speed brake for a little while. Jason, indeed. To the top of your screen, there's a tiny bit of the white bar left, and that usually means we're pretty close to landing. There's the ocean. There's the coast. Ah, that's awesome. I fly H24, turn left heading 290, clear for the Alice approach, runway 25, report of close established. 290, report established, 25, I fly H24. Sathira, hello, welcome. Just joining us as we're heading into Chennai for the turnaround. We're doing 200 knots almost, but that's with speed brake deployed, so. I'm Ever so slowly trying to bring that back to zero. Ah, we're level at 8,000 actually. Jolly good. Let's get rid of that and arm it. There's the coast. And we've got an aeroplane. Just on our left. Must be through the cloud because I can't see them. According to TCAS. Ah. There. Hopefully you guys can make that out. But if not, let me see if I can do something cool. Spot the bird. There he is. There's a load of ships. Four different three thousand feet, Jamaica and eight is one zero zero nine. Correction, one zero zero three. Seven three thousand. Understood. David, you can set them um, yourself fairly well. Down to flight level six zero, Franken But if you don't want to set them, you can download my file that I've shared with everybody on flightsim.to. There he is, going off up there. There's the Osprey chap. How could I say? <laughs> it's a fantastic part of the world to fly around in. The freeware scenery, they've put all these boats in. It looks really nice. Barely visible, sadly. Oh, I think he's just had a crash to desktop. Unless he's far enough out now that TCAS has made him disappear. Left heading 300 for Sri Lanka 122. Vectored back round. Marshva, uh, I'm not using live time. I'm actually 30 minutes, I think, or 40 minutes behind live time. Oh, Gil, most definitely, yes. And you get to enjoy this. There aren't many games that look quite realistic um, and do it fairly effortlessly, but look at that. There's one of the guys there, actually. See some strobes? There's somebody else. This is busy. In fact, there's uh, one of the guys on approach. Turn right, 050, uh, Sri Lanka 122. 
flank and five six one and descend three thousand feet. Down to three thousand feet, flank five six one. Look at this. Insanely cool. How bright those lights are there for that aeroplane. There's another one. Just there ahead of us. All the ships. There's uh, somebody else. One zero zero three. Thank you. Strong five six one. Kushal, welcome to the channel. Thanks for subscribing. Sri Lankan one two two. Descent flight level six zero. Send flight level six zero. Sri Lankan one two two. Flight line nine one seven five. Descend flight level eight zero. Descend eight zero. Descend another one. Seven. This is awesome. This is great for freeway scenery. The ships have just been plonked in, but um, look at that. Can you correct that, please? Was that the right or a left turn? That's awesome. Nothing out that way. Uh, I think I've already tuned that, haven't I? Yeah, keep an eye on him. Alright. Turn right 10 degrees, please. Turn right 10 degrees, 060, Sri Lankan 122. A350 will be great. Anish, thank you very much. There's somebody infected ahead of us. Pfizer, welcome. Thanks for subscribing. Welcome aboard. We've made Chennai very busy very quickly. It's awesome. Hopefully the controllers are enjoying this as well. We've got tower and ground. So 1181, we've got that tuned. And then we've got uh, 1219 for ground. That won't take long to tune either. Sri Lankan 122, turn right heading uh, 180. Turn right heading 180, Sri Lankan 122. Really busy, uh, yes. Send uh, 3,000 feet and Chennai QNH 1003. Sri Lanka 122. And right around the houses. We'll do 1600 foot per minute. Which one is it? That one? Got it. Getting all the angles here. Magic, hello, welcome. Magic, simply fly. Thanks for subscribing, guys. Welcome aboard. Shalantin one two two, fly heading zero six zero. Fly heading zero six zero. Shalantin one two two. And I'll be a right turn for you. Roger, right turn, 060. Make sure I don't push that. Turn left, heading 330. Left 330, I'll find another one. Long old right turn. Simply flight, what's not uh, not what's not working for you? Slanker so five six one established on the plaza. Slanker so five six one Roger contact uh, Chennai Tower frequency one one eight decimal one. Zero six zero. Over to one one eight decimal one and thank you. One zero zero three. One zero zero three. 
Oh, so that's awesome, isn't it? And, uh, and we're getting the sunset now as well. There we go. Flanken 122, um, recycle heading, fly heading at 310. Fly heading 310, Sri Lankan 122. At this point, the passengers are getting a bit sick. <laughs> Oh, left, right, left, right, left, right. Getting vectored now for the ILS. Let's see if I can get a uh, cool screenshot of the Discord server. That's going to be a good one. Look at that. Sri Lankan 122, turn left, 10 degrees, flying heading 300. F300 degrees, uh, Sri Lankan 122. Yeah, the strobes are working. Right, 260. So a speed restricted 200. That's all set. Ground spoilers and everything around. All the lights are on as required. See what signs are all on. Should probably push. Unless it's active. No, it's not. Let's activate the approach phase. There's three on finals now, so we've got. Uh, oh, look at that! Passing overhead. And then we've got one on finals there. Oh, just about got that, I think. Screenshots and in the cabin view, off he goes. Look at that. Just about time those. Well, Philip, yeah, I've not, uh, I've not looked at Volanta yet. I'd imagine it's a bit of a mess. There's the runway. So we blow the glide slope, 3000, and we're pretty much ready to go. Oh, shot, awesome. We're going to be coming up very quick on this. We've been told to fly heading 300, we're not allowed to establish until he tells us. So we're gonna miss. We can't we can't fly the ILS until he tells us. Flanken one fifty can suddenly drift the ILS. Uh negative, I was waiting for that. Um, we're flying three hundred at the moment. Jesus, not my bad. Um you get descend to two thousand five hundred feet. Turn right 230 degrees and you can clear the ILS approach. Send at 2500, left 230 and cleared uh, ILS. 23 approach, uh, Sri Lankan 122. Sri Lankan 122, make the heading 200. 200, and uh, can I start reducing speed? Uh, we're at speed 200, Sri Lankan 122. Wait, I'm speed on the train. Roger, thank you. Riding the uh, barber pole at the moment, but I'm going to put it in flaps two. Do we need to and activate approach mode? 
There we go. Can't do that. Yeah, down. This is a sporty approach, isn't it? This is a bit of a challenge for us, I've got to say. See if the aeroplane can do it. We can set this to 3,000 now for our missed approach. <laughs> Good grief! Contact tower 118 decimal 1, Sri Lankan 122. Thanks for the ATC. Oh, it's struggling with this, isn't it, guys? We're full flaps now. She's. 121.9. Sri Lanka 561. Jenna Tower, hello, Sri Lanka 122. Inbound established ILS uh, to land, remember 23 and uh, 25, sorry, and um, 4 miles. Welcome 122, Chennai Tower, very good evening. Winds 200 degrees at 9 knots, runway 25, clear to land. Plan to vacate via mic. Clear to land runway 25 and try and vacate a mic, uh, Sri Lanka 122. 25, there's Mike. I'll be okay. very good evening. Continue approach, you are number two. Winds 200 degrees at 9 knots. Plan to vacate via mic. Cat 3 Jewel. Do an auto land actually. Why not? Actually, I like flying it manually. Life's better that way. I control. Bit of a crosswind. Nathaniel, welcome aboard. Thanks for subscribing, guys. Don't forget we've got a turnaround to do as well. We'll fly back to Colombo. That glide slope's just shot down. Pretty happy with that. We'll continue. For minimums. Minimum 200. It's a bit of a crosswind. 50, 40, bit of crabbing involved. 20, 10, 5. There we go. Bit of kick that to correct. And uh, we're on decel. That's Charlie. Come on, manual brakes. He's asked us to vacate at Mike, so keep the speed up. This is that great freeware that I was telling you guys about. Mike's coming up. Sri Lankan 122, welcome to Chennai. Vacate via mic and contact ground on frequency 121.9 on vacation. Vacating the mic and uh, on vacation, contact ground 121.9 and uh, thanks for the ATC. I'll speak shortly for the return. Sri Lankan 122. Speak to you soon. Channel ground, hello. Sri Lankan 122 vacated at mic. Request tax to gates. Stand 3 2 via Mike Golf and Hotel Sri Lanka 1 2 2.
There's Mike. There's Golf. Three twos up here. They're still coming. This is fantastic freeware. There's Golf. Use available. Let's bring that flaps up. Great livery there. If you guys want the British Avgeek liveries, you can download them exclusively on our Discord server. And 3 2. So two stands to the right, just on the edge of the old terminal there. Yeah, we were given a bit of a challenge there, weren't we, guys? But uh, all good. 31. Actually, we've got painted custom textures on the ground as well. Look at that. Stand 3-2. Really great scenery. the line. Stopped a bit short of that though. Let's get that back on there. There we go. Bar brakes. Annoying pop up. Thanks for the ATC, Shlank 122. Uh, beacon off. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys didn't see that. Oh, we cooked the. Uh, Taxi there. So let's get this sorted. Hopefully, this doesn't break the sim. Rock and rolling. We need to disconnect from the VAT sim network and then reconnect as Sri Lankan 121. reset for us. So, where's my sim brief? Edit flight plan. It's changed again, it is 25. So, ACMIL A465 to CA. That's literally it. So we can just go in it A uh, from bomb slash VCBI Return, flight number ALK121, cost index will go 45, cruise is flight level 300 I think, we'll go 320. Mill Airways A465 to CA Done. That's our route complete. So VOM departure runway two five. Not sure which one it's gonna be. Plus 
So let's have a little look at Volanta. Um, so you guys can see the landing rate for that journey. <laughs> look at that! I don't know what I'm drawing there. And uh, there we go, 1.57 at 214 foot per minute for touchdown. Not too bad, bit firm. And then if we look at Navigraph to help us plan the uh, outbound departure routing. Uh, VOM, Open Charts, SID. We show the overview. I don't know where Acmill is. So we can go new flight from Simbrief, VOM to VCBI. There's Acmill. Runways 25 selected. And uh, it's probably going to be. Hmm. Colty, I guess. Neither, None of them fit. So we might get a reroute. Other departures, Damad. To a different airport, a uh, different runway. We'll just let the controller tell us what we want. That'll work, won't it? I think. Just quickly plan this inside V Pilot. While I sort this out, uh, VCBI, VCRI is the diversion. And it's 1442, 1400, time on route. One, another one hour sector. And it's giving us that as a route. Oh, flight plan. Fetch from server. I don't know if everybody's down yet. We'll get our clearance in a second. information have we got? Bomatus. Information Foxtrot. There we go. Info Foxtrot and we're at stand 3 2 aren't we? So we're at LK 121. Chennai Ground, uh, hello Sri Lankan 121 A320 at stand 3 2 with information Foxtrot. Request IFR clearance to Colombo. Clear to Colombo and uh, runway 25 departure, initial climb, flight level 60, fly runway heading after departure, squawk 7302, Sri Lankan 121. Sri Lankan 121, is that correct call for Ah, look at that, easy, 7302. Sky ground, American. Oh, 
Initial climb. Zero six zero. Earth. American four nine zero. You are to destination Colombo as filed. Runway two five in use. Climb initially is flight level zero six. We need to change our speeds. Uh, and fuel. Three point two blocks needed. Before no dispatch. Fuel. Flight level three eight zero. Uh, maintain runway heading. And How much does it want us to have? 3.2. American 490, zero, back is correct, call for push and start. That'll do. All stations, all stations, uh, Chennai QNH 1002. Osprey 556. Three, three, request push and start. Ah, I thought Pastor said he was behind. Uh, last station calling call sent, please. Uh, so, uh, simply flight. When I open V-Pilot and I go to settings in model matching, there is not a rescan button. Please read the description for the videos. Because you would have seen that there is a link, uh, there's a line in the description for that video that says that the rescan button is now not a problem. So it, it's greyed out, you can't click it, but um, yeah, don't worry about that. Get rid of Jetway. Hey firm, we uh, have uh, clearance on board. I'll try 5563. Roger. Very light. Ray 315 Delta, stand 47, fully ready, uh, request engine start. Out of tanks being filled up. I'll try 315 Delta, push and tell the crew facing west on the Delta. Push and tell the facing west on the hotel, I'll spray 315 Delta. We're almost there. We'll do 3.4 lock. Jobs are good in. 0.9 on board, good grief, that's tight. One. That'll do. <laughs> what, could, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, let's get the VOR tuned in for VOM. One one two five. Just so we can monitor that as we depart. Long old taxi. Oops, in it. Earth. There's our V speeds. One zero zero three. One zero zero three. APU's available. That's done. Refueling's done. They're on off. Quickest. Turn around ever, I think. Just make sure refueling is done. Not yet. 30 seconds left, apparently. Yeah, simply flight. You don't need to click rescan anymore. I've just, I've just said, I've explained that. It's grey. You can't click it. Don't worry about that. That's that's intentional. That's uh, that's a new thing now. Well, I say new. It's been a, it's been around for about six months. As long as you've got the model matching VMRs installed and the liveries required to see whatever you want to see, you don't need to click rescan. It doesn't do anything. It never did anything for MSFS anyway.
Uh, the A380 is going to be a long way off. Um, Mid-2022, I think, would be a fair expectation. Almost there. I forgot how slow this was. Ah, we're all, actually, we were already there. Hey, hey. Should I ground uh, American before I drove? Let's get pushback. I'm not a fan of the outer tank warnings, so. though. American 490, I know we are light, but. I'm gonna ch I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna set this 4035. I'd rather have a bit too much fuel than not enough. Yeah, simply flight. That means you need to download all the correct liveries from flightsim.to. Use them, check out my latest video on a, a, a new program called Model Matching Magic. That's what you want to use and it will scan what, exactly what you've got installed and make a custom VMR exactly for your own system. Should I can 121, uh, fully ready, stand 3-2, request push and start. Should I can 121, push and start is approved of facing West Ham Hotel, each one village or two. Push start approved, facing west on hotel, uh, Sri Lankan 122 and QNH 1004, Sri Lankan 122. All stations, all stations, QNH 1004, thank you. There we go. Osprey 5563, uh, request taxi. No, the tug's obviously not going to do anything. Five, five, six, three, taxi to holding point Alpha hey, via hey. Hotel Echo and Bravo. Hold short, uh, runway three zero. Taxi holding point Alpha via Hotel Echo Bravo and hold short, runway three zero. Okay, what's up? Osprey, three, one, five, Delta, ready for taxi. Jason, of course, yeah, if you want to spawn in and uh, connect, go for it. As long as you're comfortable with how to use VATSIM and all the communications and things you need to do. Taxi holding point Alpha, runway 30 via Hotel Echo Bravo, following the company aircraft in front for us, May 315 not the sounds. confirming you've got a taxi by Echo, but we're facing west. When will the next fly along be? Uh, every time we stream. We're facing west. Taxi via hotel golf Bravo holding point alpha. I know it's the wrong direction, but uh, taxi hotel golf bravo holding point alpha or spray three one five delta. I'll bugger that up. And Osprey five five six three follow the company as good as we're gonna get the uh via hotel golf bravo and alpha. That is messy. Sri Lankan 121, uh, taxiway, hotel, golf, and brother. Holding short of runway 30. Sri Lankan 121, uh, face, runway 2. Oh, I've uh, disconnected the tug already, Sri Lankan 122, uh, 121. Uh, Roger. From my position here, I can uh, I can do a turn to the left, uh, quite a tight turn to the left, if it helps. Uh, Roger, thank you. Yeah, let's see why that'd be a problem. You can tell it's hot. The engines are burning hot as well now with the new uh, 
new engine models. Avail. Flag on one, two, one, request taxi. With a really sharp turn to the right. Flagon one, two, one, taxi to holding point Alpha, runway three zero, via hotel called Bravo, hold short runway three zero one Alpha. Uh, taxi, hold point Alpha, runway three zero, via Golf, and uh, Alpha, Shrank one, two, one. Lampin 1 to 1, taxi via Golf and Bravo holding point Alpha. Apologies, uh, taxi Golf and Bravo holding point Alpha, Shrank 1 to 1. The master warning. I didn't let the uh, flaps config stop moving. There we go. Lampin 1 to 1, after making the left, uh, give way to the Airbus A320 from your 12 o'clock. Roger, after the left turn, give way to the A320 ahead, Shrank 1 to 1. Do this. It's what nose wheel taxis for. Ah, so there are no problem at all. We're doing the return, of course. Back to Colombo. Can I ground? I fly four four seven. With you, with information calls, ready set. There we go. Last station, come to my ground call sign. Great Osprey livery there. Okay, let's follow him. That's all good. That's set. Uh, I want to reset that rudder trim. Keep an eye on that rudder trim. I fly 247, uh, Roger, stand by, I'll call you back. Decimal one. Then we've got approach shortly as well to deal with. Don't forget guys, tomorrow, well I almost up his chuff, um, I'll be showing you guys my first look and review for the PMDG DC6. I've got a video all ready to go, I just need to get it uploaded in preparation for tomorrow of course. Fuel seems to have reset itself. I fly four seven is there to get back down to uh, uh, runway two five and you. Mission climb six. There we go. 
Bizarre. So put it back. It put itself back down to 3,300 kilos. Glad I noticed that. That's off now. Maintain runway heading after departure 5 and Fox 0632 and after flight level 100. I fly 407. Okay, hello. There's one of the guys taxiing and departing already. We'll call when they're going to push the I fly 407. Now, channel Osprey call sign. Oh, look at that. Straight to the sunset. Awesome. There he goes. Apologies for that. So we're ready for the return. Roger, contact Channel 1 Decimal 1. Good day, goodbye. Channel 1 Decimal 1. Roger, 1279 are shortly. See the unknown. Welcome. Contact Channel 1 Decimal 1 for Sri Lanka 1 Thanks for the ATC and uh, have a good night. Bye. Hello, cross runway 30 and line up and wait. 1279, which is approach ready. Cross runway 30, runway 25, that's right, 5560. Janata, hello, Sri Lankan 121 in sequence at Alpha. Sri Lankan 121, Janai Tower, hello, cross runway 30, hold short 25. Cross 30 and hold short 25 for Sri Lankan 121. Uh, Ugi, it's not my model matching that's the problem, it's Microsoft Flight Simulator usually. Um, it will sometimes do its own thing. So you can tell it to match a Lufthansa A320 as a Lufthansa A320, but um, it might just turn around and show it as whatever it wants. Uh, sadly, we can't do anything about that. The only thing I can suggest is using the model matching magic program which is on flightsim.io I've done a full tutorial for it showing you guys how to use all the features on it from a basic point of view all the way through to an advanced point of view where you're tweaking it and making it custom to what you like yourself Osprey 5563, winds 200 degrees at 12 knots, runway 25, clear for takeoff. Is the whole point for 25 with a wigwax. Runway 25, clear for takeoff, Osprey 5563. Got to try and get a screenshot. The model matching magic progress program is really good so I'd recommend checking that out what it does is it sweeps through your community folder and it will generate a list showing you all of the stuff that it can match and you just work through that like I show in the tutorial that I've made for it and uh, it then allows you to make your own VMR exactly as you've got it made yourself uh, with what you've got installed. It's a really good program. Sri Lankan 121, runway 25, line up and wait. Line up and wait, runway 25, Sri Lankan 121. Not got our takeoff clearance yet, but we're told to line up and wait. Seared lamp, it's a great looking livery, isn't it? Off goes the Osprey. Osprey 
Osprey 5563, contact approach on frequency 127.9 with your heading and passing altitude. Contact approach 1279 with uh, heading Brakes. and altitude. Osprey 5563, thank Set you. Set that as our runway heading. Good day, have a great flight. Thank you. Uh, Augie, yeah, that's the that's the problem. It's going to fill your community folder right up with hundreds of liveries like what I've got myself. So loading times can be sort of 10 minutes sometimes, 5 minutes. But it's the only way we can get sort of fairly reliable model matching at the moment, sadly. Let's change the ticker at the top of your screens for the return, guys. That's there, that's done for you now. And I've got to make sure I've got my turn actually on Volanta ready to go jobs are good in. runway heading on the charts is 251 as well so that's good because my heading showing is 121 And we're all going to the same place, so we've uh, got a bit of a wait, the separation. Make sure you hit like while you're here. Give us a little subscribe if you haven't done so already. Clear takeoff, Sri Lanka 121. So, up to. 40-ish percent and one, get the stick down, put weight on the nose wheel, and up to flex. We had that crosswind on touchdown, didn't we? So we've got to factor that in. Flex SRS, maintaining the centre line. 100 knots, we bring that pressure off the nose by centralising the nose wheel. You want to rotate? And into that crosswind already. Was it right? Go up. So we're crabbing now. Autopilot on. That's going to maintain our heading for us. And each, it's no problem at all. It's a bizarre call sign. Speed. So we're on that frost lever climb. Contact approach on frequency 127.9 with your heading and uh, passing altitude. Good day. Project contact approach 127.9 heading and altitude uh, Sri Lanka 121. Thanks for the ATC. Have a good night. You as well. Bye bye. 279. Chennai approach. Hello, Sri Lankan 121. Uh, Airborne passing 3,500 feet, a uh, heading of 251 degrees. Perhaps 1 plus F to 0. Schlangen 1 to 1, very good evening. Should I approach? Welcome back. And um, you can try and flap 140 over there, contact. Clap level 140, uh, Schlangen 1 to 1. And Osprey 5563, leaving my space. Should I control offline? Want to be gone 122, that's right. Where we go, look at that. Cracking. Sector two of two. Uh, Anish, um, Osprey is uh, it's just the channel's call sign. So uh, Bravo Victor X-Ray is our three-letter code for anyone using the British Avgeek channel liveries. And Osprey is the British call sign that we use. Direct Akmel, uh, Sri Lankan 121. And that has triggered heading mode to go to managed automatically for us, which is a really good real-life feature.
There's Chennai down there. Oh yeah, I've got more controlling uh, scheduled on the channel on there. Scheduled live streams next Friday, I believe. We're back at Birmingham. Ten thousand. Uh, wink. That's looking that we're all good there. And which button do I want to press? That one. Climb it away. those of you in our Discord server, we've got another landing contest live and it's using my uh, own made Denim Airfield for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Basically you've got to fly a circuit and try and get the best um, landing rate you can possibly do using runway 30, I think it was, the northern runway anyway at Denim. Um, and there's a tree line that gets in the way, making it quite difficult to get a nice touchdown. I might be changing one of the live streams that we've got scheduled for next week as well and I might be giving it a go on JoinFS I might actually go and fly the Aerosoft, uh, the PMDG DC6 live on a stream and each I'll be sure to try and visit Mumbai at some point in the future that, that's wonderful so realistic river down below Try and get a little video, or a little screenshot, I should say. Just flying along straight and level at 14,000 feet at the moment. this button do? Oh, that's the belly. That's cool. I've forgotten what all of my uh, A32 and X that's awesome. Custom views are like. Yeah. That's all of them. What are we doing? Acmill. We'll have to look at what our possible approaches are. On a Junicon 122 decimal 8 for Sri Lankan 121, thanks for the ATC, have a good night. There we go. 
said view, I've, um, I've only got MSFS, as a lot of you guys know, but I'm certainly in no rush to get anything else. Really enjoy it. Once we get clear of this, we'll pop that seatbelt sign off in the overhead panel. I think that's the only thing we've got left to do for this. Then we'll pull the ATIS information out so we can work out what we'll be doing when we approach Sri Lanka. So it looks like we're going to be descending into Colombo in the dark, which will be quite interesting, being default scenery. Get that VOR tracking switched off as well. reset the fuel again. We're going to have to watch that. That could be an issue. Should be enough though, 3,000 kilos. He says. Simply flight. Then uh, I think that's probably going to be whatever liveries you might have installed aren't configured properly for AI use so they just can't they can't be displayed in the sim um, a lot of it's trial and error because we don't have any proper model matching system for the sim yet we're waiting on projects to come up with stuff so it has caused us quite a bit of problem with model matching really rightio let's see MCDU Good, that works. That's one of the uh, new tests for the QA PR that I'm doing for Fly by Wire at the moment. PR5137, wow. time for this to filter through the system really you get a little pop-up here for those of you who don't know it says company message and you can use that basically to help you we print it out winds 240 at six a few clouds 1800 28 degrees QNH 1010 good stuff should be zero one three. Okay. 
we go. Uh, so Vars CA, we're going to be looking for an arrival route through there, I guess. So, uh, oops, wrong button. Apologies, apologies. There we go. That looks better. Oh, Roger, I love Chennai. That's great scenery as well. Uh, freeware for Microsoft Flight Simulators. Livli, hello, welcome. Classical sheet music, welcome to you as well. Hope you're okay. We're on our second journey now. That is rather stunning. So this is a good PR. Getting absolutely hit with spam calls at the moment. You probably just heard my phone go off. And that's that PR right up done as well. So for la bawar, I've got my test result. Jolly good, and we're a quarter of the way there already, good grief. Look at the colours. I've got to try and get that as a uh, little screenshot for Discord. That's insane. <laughs> wow. Quite something, isn't it? insane. Anish, thank you very much again for the ATC and uh, if the other guys are watching as well, thank you to them too. Oh, we're at cruise, lovely. So, what have we got to think about for the arrival? Let's get Navigraph up. We're there already. So, Flying along past the southeast coast of India, straight to the tip at the top of the northern point of Sri Lanka. And I'm not quite sure which we're going to be using. Uh, CA is there. I'd assume because everything seems to be around in a circle there. It looks like it's going to be a VOR, some sort of radial approach. Uh, but if we go arrivals. Sago one alpha, look, there we go. So we can tick Sago one alpha and approaches ILS runway 22, Zulu. There we go. There's our approach. Not necessarily vast CA though. But nothing is by the looks of it. I want to go in Varty Kona there for our approach fix look. Awesome. Let's get that put in, shall we? Sago 1 Alpha. So, flight plan, VCBI, arrival. ILS 22 Zulu. Sago 1 Alpha via Ikona. Just going to make sure that was Ikona that I wanted there. It, it is, yes, perfect. 
Insert. Ah, brilliant. Where are we going? Go back to Ackmill, are we? Bloody aeroplane. Stupid flight plan manager. Where are we heading to at the moment? Bebok. So the biggest thing that I hate about this uh, a 32 x is the fact that the nav works really quite poorly. And it's quite frustrating. There's Sagor already, so less than 80 miles we're going to be good grief that quick. Christ. ECB hiatus. Information Bravo. Surface wind 240 degrees, 6 knots, visibility 110 kilometers or more. Let's put this in. Perf. View clouds, 1,800 feet, temperature plus 28. Dew point plus 25, QNH 1010. Mag wind, uh, what was it that I just said? 240 at 6. Spectralis approach, all landing traffic on runway 22 to vacate ASAP. There's no transition altitudes, however on the charts, um, the charts actually say that there's a transition of 11,000 feet, so we're going to go for that for now. And uh, Barrow, ILS, Cat C, 240 feet, MDA. Done. That's happy. Check the rad nav. We need to clear that. We need to put the ILS frequency in, 110.3. Course, 220. I'm not sure if it's going to let us put it in. No. So we'll have to watch that like a hawk as well. Uh, Kata Yanaki, VOR, 114, decimal 1. And actually, I'm going to put a course in there of 220. That's part of our missed approach procedure anyway. Good. Getting a couple of strange lines there, so... Ah, yes. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Brilliant. Let's not... Let's do that again. Bloody aeroplane. Let's do that. <sighs> Clear. Just gets worse and worse, doesn't it? Insert. Okay. Hey. Reef. Sag or two alpha, so what do we need to look at here? Bravo India 941, at or above 8,000 feet. That can't be right. There we go. Um, at or above 2,500 feet, actually, via Ikona. So it's a straight um, descent all the way down to 2,500 at or above. Three degrees, 93. We'll do that, 95. So, when we see that ICA initial approach fix up here, approach 100, we're going to need to start descending, basically. Uh, and that initial approach fix has got a max speed of 230 knots as well. Dan, I missed it, yes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Busy couple of minutes, and I was uh, not having a chance to look at the live chat there. Oh, look at that. 
appreciate the heads up though, Dan. Even if I missed it. We've got it sorted though. And Philip as well. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Yeah, you still got Sago, yep. Yeah. Transition level, flight level 130. Ah, where have you found that then? Must have missed that. I can't see it on the ATIS unless it's my uh, terrible eyes. VCBI Tower 118 Decimal 7 coming up. That looks great. Little screenshot. End up filling a hard drive up full of them. Is it? Grief. See, I've got 11. Th oh, yes. Yeah, I read the wrong one. <laughs> oh, God. It's one of those days, isn't it? I'll change it in a second once we watch that sunset. Yeah, cheers. I love the uh, stream delay with the chat. It's about about 30 seconds. Going to make for an interesting approach into default scenery. Ash, awesome. When would you like us to call up? Dan, yeah, thanks. You guys could be my first officers in the chat. Look at the colours. That's insane. The sim does excel, doesn't it, in all this sort of stuff. 2,000 kilos of fuel. Uh, let's do as I was told. Need to change this because I misread something whilst looking at everything else. Um, flight level 150 you'd like us to call up. Awesome. So that's our transition altitude set. Map, that means we've, uh, we're going to have full ATC in Colombo as well. Perfect. 1187 is VCBI Tower. I'll wait for. ATC to come on for approach. We start configuring this for a bit of a nighttime view. Thunderstorms. There's our decel point. There's a Kona. 160 miles. We are blasting along. We've got TCAS on. Actually, physically click it on. Flights in pilot, I can yeah, at some point. Yeah, I was intending to today, but um, I actually forgot. I promised Sri Lankan Airlines flight to a gold freedom flyer, so uh, that was uh, the focus for today. So, look, look at that. No simulator gets more realistic than this for visuals. If you're just join, tuning in for the first time, very warm welcome to you guys. Hit subscribe, give us a like as well while you're here. Wow, that was cool. And uh, say hello in the live chat while you're here as well. 
got any questions about anything, fly by wires A32NX or anything else, do let me know. Tomorrow, I'll be putting my PMDG DC6 first look and review live on the channel, which is going to be really exciting. So you guys don't want to miss that. PMDG's first payware aircraft for Microsoft Flight Simulator being released tomorrow. Yeah, William, yeah, that's the problem. A lot of people get put off. Um, as, as lovely as the A32NX is, that MCDU gets really, really annoying sometimes. Which is why I love the uh, the CRJ. It works so nicely. Not quite sure what that is. All sorts of random stuff there. So random code just appeared. 96, we'll call it 100, shall we? And then we can get rid of that because it's hella bright. Gosh, hello, welcome. Thank you very much, yeah, we've had a really nice route today. Might descend a little early to level off for approach. 132 decimal 400, folks. There we go. Ah, TCAS has just pinged up. We're catching somebody. And it looks like they might have just started their descent because the numbers are descending, they're dropping. That reflection off the windscreen, can't quite see it. If I zoom out certain ways, look at that. A perfect re reflection of the glare shield. Hopefully you guys can see that on your screens. Put a little bit of floodlights on. Thousand eight hundred and twenty left. Philip, awesome. Start to send down to flight level one five zero now, so we can uh, be level in time for a calling up approach. I think we're only twenty miles shy anyway. So basically, top of descent. That looks cool down there. Look at that. A couple of aeroplanes coming your way, Ash. Well, I haven't counted, though, uh, but I think we might have about five or six, including myself. thundered along for this sector. Garlic, hello. Looking forward to getting back into the uh, 787 as well. That's got a great FMS. <laughs> That's good. No problem at all, Ash. No experience of VCPR myself either. <laughs> I think it's the first time quite a few of us are flying into Colombo. Um, it was certainly the first time flying out and into Chennai as well. A 
there's our approach. Uh, we want the Sago 1 Alpha on our arrival, and you can see we're along that now at the moment. There's the transition level, actually. I don't know how I missed that. Flight level 130. We're just over the northern tip of Sri Lanka at the moment. Straight down all the way to Ikona. Max 230, at or above 2,500, 2,500 feet. And then for the ILS Zulu runway 22, unless it, the approach gets changed. Straight in, 220, establish on the ILS and land. We've tuned the ILS DME of 110.3 into the MCDU's RADNAV page, and we've done the CAT VOR as well. Katuna Yaki. There's our MDAs. 3 degree glide slope. And missed approach. Climb straight ahead to 2000 foot, track direct to Pasco and hold. So it's basically a straight line, 220 degrees. Straight to Pasco. Nice and easy. You can see that it's 11.1 .1 miles away from Cat VOR. So we fly a straight line, we measure that distance, and then we fly a, uh, a hold at Pasco. And that is all we need to know for our approach briefing. When we get on the ground, landing on 2 2, we could probably expect to come off at Delta or Charlie. Ideally, uh, if we want to vacate as soon as possible, ideally Charlie, but. Delta is probably the most reasonable of the two, although it's a 3,350 metre runway, so we could probably get off at Charlie quite easily and then straight into the uh, apron for parking. That's what we want up for the time being. Yeah, uh, sorry, Columbo approach charts. Three one five seven with you. Flight level one six zero uh, on the. Alpha. Update coming at 4 BST. Oh, so in 20 minutes, guys. World update, uh, was it World update 4? Is coming. And hopefully, not long after that, the Aerosoft CRJ 900 and 1000 expansion pack. That will look quite cool, won't it? That we can't see very much. <laughs> The reflection in the glass from the glare shield is really coming out now. Hopefully, you guys can see that quite nicely. Ash, hopefully, I've explained it as you want. That's either a road or a coastline. According to Volanto, it's a road. So we've got Osprey 315 Delta ahead, and then we've got Philip McCarley and Osprey 5563 ahead. A couple of aircraft on the ground at, uh, as well. William, why is it annoying for you? <laughs> you gotta watch my tutorials. You'll love, you'll love the CRJ. Then I certainly do. By far, my most favourite aeroplane in the sim, by a long stretch. Coming in hot. We are going to be there in no time. 116 miles to go, but actually minus maybe about 10. Schmitty, uh, yeah, these are default. It's fantastic, isn't it? The reflection in the glare shield. That is uh, windshield effects on ultra. And then you get the glass reflecting stuff really nicely. Uh, same if we turn this on. Let's see if this works. You should see it reflect off the glass on the left. Look at that. Rather cool, isn't it? Yeah, throttle management is the biggest thing, really, I think. 1,660 feet. Absolutely pitch black. Daniel, hello, welcome. Yeah, CRJ900, I think, was probably the most 
popular one of the of the selection, wasn't it? Got to work out where we're inbound as well. Jimmy, just tinker a couple of settings and just try and put windshield effects to ultra and see what you think. Two approach controllers. One two oh nine. Information Charlie. Clumbo approach. Hello, uh, Sri Lankan one two one A three twenty Neo with information Charlie on board uh, inbound. Bravo India four eight two. Sending through flight level one one five five one five zero. It's coming out in twenty minutes, Norway. Good evening again. You can descend to eight caution flight level eight zero, and you can proceed on course. Proceed on course. Descend flight level eight zero, Sri Lankan one two one. Thanks for opening. No problem, man. That was eight thousand feet. My bad. Can H one zero one zero. 8,000 feet, QNH 1010, Sri Lanka 121. And Osprey 5563, approach. Ooh, Lauren, that sounds great. Osprey 5, 5, Those reflections are insane, I've not seen those before until today. It's fantastic. That's where I get confused. All the uh, American code share carriers and things with Endeavour and I can't remember the other ones now. Oh, well into our descent already. Blasted through this today. Two sectors in uh, two hours. No, three hours. That's incredible. Awesome route. Apologies, uh, Sri Lankan 121, say again. Sri Lankan 121, Director Kona. Director Kona, Sri Lankan 121. Please don't break. There we go. So that's all done, that's ready to go. Our Radnav page is uh, all set up for us as well. And our V speeds, or our speeds target, I should say. Uh, clean at 201. Slats flaps at 183 and full at 141. Approach speed of 128 and VLS at 123, so 128. a bit, bit better. Centurio, hello. Hi, welcome. Going very well, thanks. We've had the usual A320 nightmare with uh, the way that the aeroplane seems to handle itself with the flight plan stuff, but otherwise it's, uh, it's all good. We're flying along that uh, little road. Pretty much. Well into descent now, three quarters of the way there as well, so it uh, shows you how short these routes are guys, if you want to give it a go yourselves in your own sim, stuff that doesn't take too long but is exceptionally scenic, especially with that Chennai freeware, then this is the route you want to do. Oof, naughty me. Getting shouted at now by uh, serious simmers. There 
There we are. I'll we'll pretend my speed wasn't uh, badly handled there. Seared lamb, yeah, exactly. Um, you know, the focus is trying to get all this sorted, of course, with the developers. Trying to get the flight plan manager sorted out. L nav and V nav, but it is exceptionally complicated. So, yeah, they're volunteers as well. Things take time. What does that do? Ooh. That'll do us. Phillips uh, 35 nautical miles ahead. That's why I like the CRJ so much, because it works really nicely. And in fact, the 787 with the heavy division mod um, works exceptionally well. And that has a working flight plan manager, and it works exceptionally well. And it flies really good as well. It's, it, it is great fun to fly that. So I think, sadly, this has dropped down to my number three. Which is, you know, sad for me to say. I do love the uh, A320 and the A32NX, the Flyby Wire project especially. I'm on the dev team and the QA team for them. And I've put in loads of work testing all these PRs, including one that we tested today, and I've just uh, finalised the report for. Lauren, interesting. 1,500 kilos of fuel. Deal with this overhead then. They're all on. Signs and stuff are all on. So there, yeah, it is, isn't it? We had a beautiful departure out of Colombo as well, actually, all the way up the coast. So best of both worlds today, and we're finishing with the challenge of it being pitch black. Aviation simulation, eh? How you doing? Yeah, Centurion was the only aeroplane, wasn't it? I love the variety that's coming into the sim now. Are you up, lad? So, level at 8,000 feet, QNH1010, that's set on the standby instruments as well. We've got the CAT VOR tracking, 67 miles to go. Uh, it's usually just a bit of a target, Nick, so 10,000, pop we Landing lights, wing lights, taxi lights off. Can't see a chuffing thing. Set the notification bell while you're here, so you don't miss tomorrow's first look at the brand new PMDG DC-6 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. A little first look and review, put a 25-minute-ish uh, video together for it, showing you um, the absolute basics of enjoying it without worrying about all of the complexities. Some of the neat things that the uh, tablet on board, the DC-6, can do, for example, as well. And the sim update for Microsoft Flight Simulator should be releasing in uh, five minutes. Oh, Seared Lamb, if you've got Microsoft Flight Simulator, that's a great question. If you've got, Mi if you've got Microsoft Flight Simulator and uh, you've got uh, Max 230 coming up at Econa, um, and you've got something other than Premium Deluxe, then don't upgrade because it's not worth the price. The price of the upgrade actually is almost the same price as buying the sim from the start again. Um, but also it's going to be roughly the same price as the Quality Wing 787. So if you want to update just for the 787, wait and uh, albeit patiently um, because we don't know when it's coming. Um, but hold on and don't spend your money until the Quality Wing 787 releases and then buy that instead. That'd be my advice. For those of you who have already got Premium Deluxe, and you've therefore got the 787, then the Heavy Division is the uh, mod that you want to use for it. And you only want to use the experimental branch via their Discord server. 
But if you get stuck with the links, just let me know in our Discord server and we'll add it on. Schmidty, well, I bought Premium Deluxe because of Heathrow Airport and the 787, and I was absolutely gutted with how bad the 787 was uh, after release. I flew it once and I didn't use it ever again. But yeah, the upgrade price that Microsoft are charging for Premium Deluxe, if you haven't already purchased it, is um, kind of a rip-off, if I'm honest. A bit of consumer advice. Save your money and get the Quality Wing 787 instead. You'll, uh, you'll definitely prefer that. Diego, hello. So, auto brake low. Osprey 5, Cushion 315 Delta, you can contact Columbo Tower frequency on a decimal zone. 18, Osprey 315 Delta, thanks for coming online, that will be there. Noble, my pleasure. I don't know if he knows there's a Fin. There's a Fin on as well. We've got Columbo Approach, we've got Columbo Fin. And Columbo Tower. Yeah, Lauren, I completely agree. It's a mad decision that they've made, really. But I guess um, it's just the hype train, isn't it? People are just going, I want the 787. Oh, by the way, you need to pay 80 quid for it. But actually, the, I think the price difference was only 60 quid, 50 quid. When the Quality Wing 787 comes out, I'll be getting that, most definitely. And then the Heavy Division mod, I'll probably never use again. Um, it, yeah, it would be a massive difference between the two. Can't see now. Yeah. Got all the wing lights on. It's so hot here that I've not had to even bother or think about using icing. Diego, not really sure when the Quality Wings 787 is going to be... Uh, released sadly I think we could probably expect over the next two months or so they did they did estimate Q2 but that Q2 ends in uh, two weeks time so who knows aviation simulation I guess it's down to contracts Ethan hello welcome and yes the flight yeah sim world update 5 for Microsoft flight simulator is releasing in one minute so very exciting Schmidty, nice. Going to get the Just Flight Piper Arrow. I absolutely love that aeroplane. It's fantastic. Um, and the Edgerly Optica is brilliant as well. It's hilarious. I enjoyed flying that yesterday. Almost capturing the equaliser now. Maybe Osprey 5563, minimum approach speed, please. Correction, slow down, minimum approach speed. 20 miles to a Kona. Minimum approach speed, Osprey 5563. Uh, Latams, it is... Wing lights. That's the one you want. Quality Wing 787-9 is going to be awesome. Yeah, I know Whiskey Sim is struggling with their aircraft. Tushar, hello. Welcome. How are you doing? I think when the Quality Wings aircraft gets released, I'll be doing quite a few uh, bits on there. Ooh, aviation simulation. Yeah, I bought it perfect. Uh, perfect? But I bought it on the um, Microsoft Store version. Um, Tavignaris, yeah, basically, don't. Um, so, if you don't have Premium Deluxe already, don't pay the upgrade price because it's a, it's around about the same price as the Premium Edition if you bought it brand new anyway. So, just wait and be patient, and instead get the. Uh, why are we going to Onico? Bloody aeroplane. 
it's just taken us to a random waypoint there, so now we're flying it manually. This is why I prefer the CRJ and the 787 now. This is getting quite annoying. We'll have to do that as a heading, I think, otherwise we're going to lose track, drift off course. Um, so, anyway, um, as I was saying before the aeroplane decided to throw a bug to Avignaris, Quality Wings are making a 787 that's going to be payware, and um, that is going to be really nice and certainly worthy of the money that they'll charge for it. And you'll probably find that. And, uh, Fox Trot 5562, cancel approach, turn right, heading uh, uh, 300. Yeah, Schmidt, the CRJ does have VNAV. Um, yeah, the Quality Wings aircraft 787 is probably going to be the same price as the upgrade to get Premium Deluxe if you don't already have it. So save your money, don't upgrade to Premium Deluxe, and instead wait for that uh, Quality Wings aeroplane. 10 miles. Osprey 556 feet, turn right. Hum. Oh god. Sri Lankan 121, request further descent. Sri Lankan 121, uh, you can descend to 3000 feet, QNH is 1010. Send 3000, QNH 1010, Sri Lankan 121. Oh, Tell you what, no problem. Uh, uh, my biggest bit of advice would be not to uh, not to waste your money on stuff like that, really. You can uh, climb 3000 feet and turn right at Inkey Dozer. Let's flip down and go around. I'll say 5063 is going around, climb 3000 and turning right, can you repeat the heading? Schmitty, there's no good free right, EGLL, three three sadly, three or payware. Um, there is one being developed, there's a freeware Heathrow being developed at the moment on flightsim.to by the guy who made Gatwick, which looks really cool, but um, sadly, Gatwick is really poorly optimised now, as great as it is. It's quite problematic. I'm going to make sure I've selected. Oh, goody. We're already on that. That means if I do that. 122. We'll go down to green dot speeds. Uh, yeah, the world update should be out now for those of you with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yeah, I love. Uh, on present heading, uh, cleared ILS runway 22, a report when established. Sri Lanka 1 to 1. Centurio, most definitely. It's uh, quite disappointing. Through some cloud landing lights are illuminating the cloud ahead of us. Look at that. Awesome. Turn right, zero four zero. Osprey five five six three. How many miles? Thirteen miles. And uh, into Colombo. There's the runway ahead, I think. Actually, we can't see the runway ahead. This is where we find out it's like Goa and there's no approach lights. Ah, oh, there's the runway. There's Philip. Being vectored around. I just see him through the uh, glare shield reflection. Astralanker 121 uh, established. 
Houston 17 contact uh, Columbia Tower frequency 118.7. Uh, thank you for flying. Tower 118.7 uh, for Sri Lanka 121. Thanks for the ATC. Have a good night. You too. 10 miles. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Initial fix now. Columbia Tower, hello, Sri Lanka 121, uh, inbound, ILS runway 22, uh, 9 miles to land. Sri Lanka 121, Columbia, hello, traffic train 240 degrees at 6 knots, clear to land, traffic 22. Clear to land, Sri Lanka 121. There's Philip. Get down. Not that we can see the gear. <laughs> there goes the lights at the front. Looking rather good. Just put in flaps three. Six point two. We're slowly coming down to final approach speeds. Forgot to press that. Ground support is armed as our landing checklist. And as we pass 2000. Yeah, uh, Terry, no idea. Yeah. It's fly live, it tends to break out of marker. All flaps. Stands at Stand Bravo 18, nice. There we go. Get rid of the floodlights. This is where you need to know where all the buttons are. So now we can set our missed approach altitude to 2000 because we're below it. And that's our last little bit done. MDR 240. Got a nice headwind for us as well. While we're on the approach, I want to say thanks very much to Jonathan for donating your tip today. Really generous of you. As well as Weeby Fan as well for hitting the super chat. And Alberto uh, donating a uh, whopping Chilean peso, 35,000 Chilean pesos uh, via super chat as well. Really generous of you guys. Thanks for supporting the stream. Out of control. Let's fly in. The end uh, sector two of two today. Some Sri Lanka real ops, Chennai, and Colombo city pair. I keep meaning to get Centurio actually, it's uh, interesting you say that. I keep meaning to get the sound pack that people keep going on about for the quality wings. Uh, not quality wings, the default Sobo 787. Apparently, it's really very good. I'm trying to re trim for this approach a little bit. Ever so slightly left. Land. PFD. Continue. Interesting, because I'm bang on the glide slope apparently according to the PFD. Means the ILS is a bit Yeah, the ILS isn't correct. Look at that. 
She's a floater. There we go. Spoilers are deployed. Brakes on diesel. And I'm not even having to use reverse thrust again. Nice long runway will vacate at Charlie coming up. Too soon there. And Sivankan 121, welcome to Colombo. Uh, after vacating, taxi to Ipan Bravo, Bravo 14. After vacating, uh, taxi via Bravo, Bravo 14. Uh, Sri Lanka 121. We've got 960 kilos of fuel left. <laughs> oh, I knew that was going to be tight. We'd have probably got one go around in that and then uh, we'd have run out of fuel. So Bravo 1-2 is kind of where we uh, where we left. There's one of the guys in the channel call sign. The channel livery. Bravo 1-2 coming up. And I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken... Maybe was it that one? sure. We'll go with this one. I remember we parked at one and we thought it was one but actually the tower said it was something different when we left. Century, very true, yes. A uh, thousand kilos more than we needed, I guess. This shows you how bad the night lights are in MSFS. So I can't see a chuffing thing. There's the end of the line. Two on approach. There we go. That's all good. Spawn catering and baggage. Does make it a bit naff, doesn't it, for um, night time on default scenery? Almost impossible to see anything. Let's see if we can catch these guys landing. Yeah, floodlights is a bit silly, isn't it? Because um, it wouldn't take much for them to just auto-gen or force a couple of uh, floodlights to be auto-gened around the airport. Or even just set the um, emissives. See about signs. I'll turn that off in a second. I just want to catch uh, Philip landing. I know I did forget. They're all sat patiently waiting. Channel livery, of course. Looking good. Pass 
the five five six to welcome to Colombo as it's spread the gating and go. taxi to <laughs> Bravo. I'll put that on also. Taxi Bravo Bravo one seven. I'll spread five five six three. Ash, no problem. Thanks for doing the ATC. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. Here's your Cheerio. <laughs> 200,000 Iranian real. What's that? Penny? Quid? American 490 I think that's the last one in. Uh, while we're waiting. Oof, that can't be correct. I'll have a look at Volanta. Apparently, 1.91 G for landing force, which is uh, quite firm. And comfortably firm. But the landing rate, foot per minute, was minus 226. So, uh, fair, yeah, quite a heavy landing, apparently, according to Volanta. And this is the last one in. Uh, Centurio, I could probably find, if I knew the call sign, I could force it into anything really. I could set a manual call sign so that uh, you guys get to, s uh, you basically show up in whatever I set. And I'd probably set you as an A320 Neo. Next week we're staffing Birmingham Airport again. Some thunder. We're staffing Birmingham Airport again with uh, loads of ATC on VATSIM on Friday, I think it is, which is going to be really cool. And uh, through the week from Tuesday onwards, I think Tuesday, Wednesday, or Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. We've got two more streams planned as well. We'll be going Montevideo to Sao Paulo, although I might change that and do that in a DC6. Although I am getting close to my uh, monthly gap for uh, Fly UK, so I'm going to have to do a flight of some sort for them. There's an American. Then we've got Athens to Larnaca. Potentially time permitting a return involved with that, although uh, not too sure to be honest. It could take a little too long. And then of course Friday Birmingham Control Live. And now I've got the uh, PMDG DC6 to enjoy as well. But I need to learn the DC6. It might take me a, a little while before I think about streaming with it. It is exceptionally complicated. There we go. Bravo, Bravo 1, American 490. Where are we? There's my tail. Osprey 5563 is on the bus. Shut it down. Thanks for your service today. Osprey 5563 is on the bus. I'll catch you later. Bye bye. There we go. Thanks to those who flew along. Thanks to Sithira, Gold Frigate Flyer, for suggesting the uh, reroute via Colombo. So, uh, hence the Colombo to Chennai and back today. Really great freeware at Chennai. Hope you guys have all enjoyed the stream, including the sunset. Thanks, of course, as always, to our Bronze, Silver and Gold Frigate Flyers for supporting the stream with your memberships. Really appreciate that always, so you guys know that. And, um, as I said on approach, Jonathan, Woobyfan, aka Allmeter, and Alberto for your really kind tips in supporting the stream as well make sure you tune into the channel tomorrow I'll be sharing with you guys uh, the first look and review for the brand new PMDG DC6 for Microsoft Flight Simulator don't forget if you've got Microsoft Flight Simulator to get your update started now for World Update 5 which is the uh, Nordics really stunning region anyway to fly around so it's going to be great thanks everybody for watching make sure you hit like if you haven't done so already before you leave today and I'll see you next week for some more streams.
Have a good one.